I am David, your developer on duty, and in this video we will have a look at Telescope. Telescope is a fuzzy finder over lists. For example, in this directory, if I want to search for all my files, I can open Telescope and search for, let's say, package.json, and you can see I can preview the files and in the end select one. The installation is very simple. You can use your favorite package manager, in this case it's Packer, and you install Envim Telescope, Telescope Envim, as well as Envim Lua, Plenary Envim. To open Telescope, you can press colon Telescope and press tab to see a list of all available commands. As you can see, this list is quite extensive, so let's go over the most important ones. To search for files in your current directory as well as subdirectories, you can use Telescope Find Files. On the left, you can see a list of files which you can reduce by writing parts of the name in a fuzzy search manner. On the right, you can see a preview of the file, and in contrast to FCF, Telescope uses TreeSetter for syntax highlighting, so you use your own color scheme. You can press Enter to open the file. You can also press, for example, Ctrl V to open the file in a vertical split. Usually not all files in your directory and subdirectories are important. To only search for files which are governed by git, you can use git files. To grab for the content of your files using regular expressions, you can use live grab. To only grab in a specific path, I have defined here my custom function called live grab in path, which takes a path variable, which can be nil, and in case of nil, the user is requested to input a directory, and then it will use telescope live grab with that search directory. It works like this. I provide the directory, and now I can live grab. There's also a file browser which lets you create files and folders. You can navigate to some folder and then create a new file by pressing Ctrl E. To navigate to LSP document symbols, you can use Telescope LSP document symbols. To see the diagnostics, you can run Telescope LSP document diagnostics. To see and execute code actions on a particular line, you can write telescope lsp code actions. And here I convert the name function. To see a list of references, lsp references. To go to the implementation, telescope LSP implementations. If there's only one, you would jump directly to it. The same is true for definitions. You can also list function names and variables using TreeSitter. You can show the open buffers, telescope buffers. See a list of old files using telescope old files. See a list of plugin or user commands and run them. You can also run previously executed commands using telescope commands history. Rerun searches. Search for head tags. You can search for your marks. Whenever you have a result, for example, if I grab for add one, you can move the result to a quick fix list using Control Q. And you can also view the quick fix list using telescope Quick fix. 
And in a similar way, you can go to the location list or to the jump list. You can edit Vim options using telescope Vim options. You can paste entries of your register using telescope registers. If you want to list the results of the previous picker, you can write telescope resume. To apply a color scheme, telescope color schemes. There's also some git integration, for example, telescope git underscore commits shows the latest commits. You can check them out on enter or, for example, reset to that commit in a hard way using control R H. To see the commits of the current buffer, telescope git b commits. To see a list of branches, telescope git branches. On enter you check out the branch. You can track it using control T or rebase it using control R. To see the current status, telescope git status. And now you can stage or unstage the file using tab. You can list stash item using telescope git stash and apply them using return. That's not all. There's a lot more to be discovered. You can create your own custom pickers, sorters or previous, or you can choose from a long list of extensions created by the community. Telescope seems to feel like the UI of NeoVim. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.